Kanye lost his mind, what, for the, I don't know, millionth time, right? Uh, he keeps losing his mind. He keeps going through something, some sort of mental breakdown, breakthrough, whatever you may be calling in. I don't know, man. As a big Kanye West fan, as somebody who's kind of inspired by his rah-rah speeches and his, you know, um, wild aspiration and his ability to execute at the highest of levels, right? And he's just obsessive, his obsessive drive for perfection in artistry. Man, seeing this version of Kanye sucks balls. It's just so deflating to see this version of Kanye now. Again, this might just be his final form. You know, people, we all grow up, we all get older. He might just turn into the old cranky dude that says wild stuff on social or is prone for the odd outbursts here and there. And it just might be, a, this also might be a byproduct of, you know, you can only get genius level shoes and clothing design and pr presentation and album production and album, all that sort of stuff. You can only get that at that level and by having this kind of periods of manic episode manic episode periods right or periods of manic huh? yeah whatever right that's the only way you can get it maybe that's a thing but just as a fan of you know a fan of what pre-2015 kanye you just look at this one you're just like god man what a what a sad way to end that story but again you know, I don't think it's sad because I just don't think it's that big of an issue. I don't think he's going for a breakthrough. I just think this is just his way of kind of permeating culture. He always, always done this, right? He's always had the ability to kind of, you know, uh, thread his needle um, onto the timeline, right? To kind of disturb things, give you a little jolt, a bit of kick up the ass. And he does it perfectly. And this time around, he was complaining about Dre, Chris Jenner, talking about the Kanye, he did the Kanye meme again. Um, and he's, he mentioned his lyric, he's um, bemoaning the fact that people are trying to lock him up because they're saying he's insane because he wants to run um, for the presidency in 2020. Um, it's just a whole lot of madness, but I just don't think he's going crazy. I really don't. I just think this is just Kanye. This is just who he is now at the moment. Um, I think the crazy thing, we shouldn't really take much notice of it because by his account, he seems to be fine. He went off the meds he was hasn't been more clearer he says the meds stunted him somewhat shape or form and in general we also have to be aware that he's not our dad isn't it he's got his whole family around him who suddenly don't give a fuck it looks like right the Kardashians essentially every time he's had the episode so far where he explodes and goes into some sort of outburst there's always a counter story that props up on tmz that the family's worried that he's going through an episode, they worry he's not taking the medication. Always, it's just like clockwork. And again, TMZ is a garbage uh, platform, right? But it's fairly safe to assume they have a contact close to the Kardashians, right? Close to the Jenners. That is, when they give them information, when it comes to their sort of like interpersonal relationships, we can sort of be led to believe that it's partly true, if not fully true. So for somebody in their family to be leaking information that they're you know that member of their family is going for an episode and kind of counteracting it with other stories in the press instead of just helping the person in real life it says a lot about the family he's unfortunately um a part of at the moment right he's, he's been able to you know um bring into this world four amazing kids he's met the love of his life but being an extended family it's really an unfortunate situation because, you know, they have to protect their interests as well. You know, I'm not blaming the Kardashians, but God damn it. Your husband's going through a manic episode and you're feeding stories to the press. You're getting publicists to leak info that he's off his meds and he's not well at the moment. It's just a crazy situation to go through. The the tweets themselves, I've got a collection of them now. I probably want to show you now on the web. Oh, no, this, the first clip, of the, this one was funny. This one was when he was at his, um, what was that? He was at his uh, rally, campaign rally. And he started screaming about his mum wanting to abort him. My mom saved my life. My dad wanted to abort me. <laughs> my dad my mom saved, saved my life. life. There would have been no Kanye West because my dad was too busy. There's a dweeb behind him trying to make him feel good. And again, um, it's just interesting when these things happen, right? When Kanye is like on, 
when Kanye's presenting some amazing show in the middle of Paris somewhere, right? With this amazing dome created by this influential architect and all these incredible interior designers and all these amazing people in the scene out there. All these mates, all these sort of social media mates that I was always jacking them off under the table, they're quick to post stuff, right? Thank you, Ye, for the Yeezys. Thank you, this, Ruth Shane, that. But the moment he has any kind of dummy moment or he, he comes out and does this sort of stuff, they're all eerily quiet, in it? It's just funny, just as optically to see. All these mates that are posting their thank you notes from Team Yeezy that are jacking themselves off because they got an invitation to the show or posting a picture of themselves backstage somewhere. Do you remember when he has an actual real issue that you could actually um, say was an important thing if you happen to be his friend? Crickets. They know where to be found. Where are they? Where's the little statements? Where's the little pep talks about we're going to be there for our friend? Nothing. You don't hear anything. He's just there crying in a bulletproof vest with people around him that you, no one recognizes, right? For the most part, you don't see them on Instagram. You don't see them shared on the meme pages or the street star pages. These are all weird people that the only ones left around at the moment, it seems like. And here he is telling every, telling everyone his business, oversharing. <laughs> No cap, but Kanye kind of cries my, like my dad. My dad cries like that sometimes. You know, your dad's like, you know, they're just, this are like their last end. Do you know what I mean? Just <laughs> I don't know. What do, what do you say? This Imagine just being a campaign rally where you're having to, you're having to, convince people that you are i love the 2020 back of his head though you're having to convince people at a campaign rally that's the purpose of it right convince them that you are a stable enough genius to lead the country or to earn their uh, ballot right that's what you want to convince them and that's the way you that's how you go out there insane and then of course not, the actual the tweets themselves are probably the best things we've seen in a while from kanye in terms of just how manic he tends to he is at the moment and also just a fair reflection of it's a good little snapshot into like what, what he's where his priorities are and the things that he kind of is annoyed about still here on screen so you got one on the top left which is funny right chris don't play with me you and that calm yeah i'm not allowed any around my children <laughs> you're trying to lock me up right <laughs> which is funny because of course chris jenner's um i don't know fiance partner does look a lot like calm yeah right um or eerily enough but it's also maybe a reflection into where they are as a family fractured right in the space where christian might have done a try to attempt to get him locked up which you never know kanye it might be a, a lot of hyperbole but just imagine putting this sort of information out there being a celebrity of kanye's stature and that maybe is the problem maybe there's been no one so far that we've known in the modern era that's been because again mike jason was big too but he didn't have social media Social media is a game changer. It amplifies your voice so much more. That's probably why we don't. That's probably why there's a big chasm between. Uh, let's say artists, a good example. That's why it's such a big chasm between maybe like a Lil Uzi Vert and a Rich the Kid in terms of actual fan bases, because on paper they might look similar, right? In terms of Instagram followers and all that sort of stuff, right? But when it gets down to actually having fans, it's a whole different ball game. But I think social media skews it because it gives everyone a platform. So you could have the same amount of followers as him, as Lil Uzi Vert, but do you have actual fans that will buy tickets to attend your show or attend your tour? That's a whole different ball game. And I think Kanye has that ability, right? He's always sold numbers. He's always made, he's always, you know, if you care about first week numbers, he's always had really good first week numbers. People buy the stuff he makes, clothes, fashion, shoes. People attend, yeah, people attend these shows. And then you have the social media aspect of it where he's, his voice gets amplified even further. So people that are far removed from hip-hop, don't give a F about yourself, will see his tweets, will see his communication. Whereas back in the day, if you're a Michael Jackson fan, you don't only a Michael Jackson fan will find out about what he's doing, his new outfits, his new dance routine. You have to kind of go and seek that information out. But at the moment, especially considering how viral he is at the moment, he can just be in everyone's phone sim simultaneously. It's amazing, isn't it, really? So maybe that's part of the... Con that, that is the issue. He's just so big as a celebrity. He's so rich. His influence is so large that there's no other way you can be. If he was really centred and zen like a J. Cole at his level of fame, people probably look at him a bit weird. This probably makes a lot of sense. And 
continues and says, um, come and get me. This is an Exodus, like Pusha said in the Exodus song from a few years ago. It says here, Kim tried to bring a doctor to lock me up, which is a good indication, I think. I think that's good to hear because people like myself are big believers that a lot of his issues come because, you know, his family are willing to accept the good that comes of being associated with Kanye, having Kanye being a part of your family. You have this maverick, once in a generation creative genius, be your partner or be the father of your children or be a consultant with the way that your family present themselves. It's a good thing, right? It can only help, but it does come with some bad moments and the bad moments are very public and very loud. So it can feel to us on the outside that, hey, what are these family doing? But sometimes there's only so much you can do, right? If if they if they actually because I wonder how far you have to get before you get sectioned, is it does it, is it have to be demonstrable? Is it something that you have to maybe give evidence? Like do you have to go into a sit down with a meeting with somebody? Like how far does it have to go between, before someone actually comes up with a white jacket and pushing it back of a van? And again, like I said, I just don't think he's in that state at the moment. I just think this is Kanye, and people are just not accepting it. They kind of think he's gonna have this come to calm your moment where he's going to suddenly relax and take things easy and start reading books and become a bit more rational i don't think that's ever going to be him this is the kanye that he is want. he's always going to be this guy and now he has money he has proper f you money proper right you can't chat anything to kanye anymore he's got everything he needs in terms of resources with his fashion with the stuff he's doing with yeezy he's got other stuff he's doing with design outside of those things other project furniture stuff he's doing buildings He's exactly where he went to be creatively and artistically. So this is the worst time to ever expect him to rein in personality wise. Why would he? He's won already. He's done everything he set out to do. This is him in his final form. And I think for some fans or some, you know, casual fans, it might be a hard pill to swallow, but I think this is it. This is this is your Kanye going forward. I don't think he's nuts. And um, it continues. He might have bipolar. Don't get me wrong. He might have he, he might have bipolar disease, but I don't think he's having a mental breakdown or going for an episode. I just don't. I just think this is your Kanye. He continues. Says I put my life on the line for my children. That North mother would never sell a sex rape. And I'm not sure. Did he mean to say sex tape or say sex rape? Because that's a really really crazy thing to say. And maybe or again, they're very consistent though, because Kanye's always been uncomfortable with the fact that he married Kim Kardashian. It seemed like because he's always complaining about her posing nude. It's like I think Kim's been fairly consistent about who she's been over the years since we've seen her in the public eye. She hasn't changed. So for him to suddenly try and change the way that she conducts her business, the way that she lives her life, is really unfair. So that is mad. If you meant to say table rape, I don't know. Continues says, Yeah, Chris, call Chris and Kim, call me now. He keeps ranting. Imagine telling your, your mother in law and your wife to call you via Twitter absolutely wild and the winter she always showed me love but when i told her i was going to gap she looked at me like i was crazy then she called me back kissing my ass it's like what why are you still talking about anna winter see our fashion book is gonna go in the dump soon right it's probably gonna go out of business anna winter hasn't been again this this is just good is as a it's another window into his obsession with um figures of influence within a certain group within a certain subculture of or some way he's trying to get into a scene right in terms of fashion he's obsessed louis wilson um anna wintour um who else is the person um he's got all these names that he names that he's, he wants to be a part of or be friends with or be friend but he's embarrassing in public is saying it's going to help and again it's anna wintour it's 2020 she hasn't got the influence or the swag that she once had back in the day maybe in the industry in the scene behind the scenes she might have but he's quite full he's quite um kind of always seems to be you know with with the avant-garde he's always kind of push he's always kind of pushing the young voices forward this isn't the person to really push now and no one gives it i don't i don't think kids in csm now give a shit about what Anna Winter did back in the day they're trying to rewrite their own history so it's a bit strange one but again who, who cares move on to that one uh drake of course the, obviously there's always a, a, a there's always a little um drake thing because he's always in the back of his head he says i put my life on on he put my life on god that north's mum would never photograph her doing playboy and that's on god i'm at the ranch come and get me <laughs> sheer lebeuf is cap because i'm guessing he didn't attend one of their fashion shoots just ugh. seeing kanye like this is just distressing man 
just as again just as a fan of the kanye that would just get you inspired to design a whole lookbook create a line sheet put together some ideas for furniture make a logo just put a beat together design a flyer that kanye is long gone mate long gone it says here west children will never do a playboy it's a really cute picture of him and his kids another tweet here says i love my wife my family must have must be must live next to me it's not up to e or nba and c anymore so it, this is another good window into how fractured that family is i'm assuming we're keeping the kardashians is essentially mandating or requiring them to live in la i assume to film the show they can't actually go to wyoming because why would you want to film a show in wyoming unless kim doesn't want to live in wyoming i don't know but that's quite bad to see that happening and him airing that in public isn't good either you got mbs nbc locked up bill cosby he's fascinated with bill cosby's odd do you think that's what i think kind of with a few money is actually an interest far more interesting interview because he's just so say what he wants do you actually think he legitimately thinks nbc sort of like set up bill cosby that he was taken down is that what he actually believes? That he doesn't think Bill Cosby... Yeah, he said the loads that, right? Bill Cosby's innocent. But do you think he truly believes that? That there's this, like, you know, nefarious group out there, this shadowy entity that planted, um, you know, uh, I don't know, ketamine in these girls' drinks and happened to place Bill Cosby next to them and happened to place Bill Cosby's room key in their pocket. I don't know. What, what does he really think about that? Because strangely, he brings it up. Uh, it continues here it says Kim was Kim was trying to fly to Wyoming with a doctor to lock me up like on the movie Get Out because I cried about saving my daughter's life it's just again I have no words to say I just don't think he's crazy I think this is the Kanye you're going to receive this is mid, this is like early what over 40s Kanye he's got a family he's got a kid he's made copious amounts he's made you know the amount of wealth he's ascertained in his short period of life I would have a bit of a god complex i'd be a bit deranged too and he happens to be married to one of the most you know complicated families to figure out in the world isn't it in the connections isn't it you just don't know what's going on behind those closed doors is it all manufactured is it all vapid is it all surface level or is it just a family that happens to like nice things living in la we don't know but you know again where are these friends where are those cool people that post pictures sitting or that were all, all up in Wyoming, dressed head to toe in the, in the merch. What are they saying now? Absolutely nothing for the most part. Some are feigning interest in the mental as health aspect of it, but rarely do any of them come out and back his political statements or say he's um, he has the platform for free speech. And they don't say anything. They just sit there and let him deteriorate in public at breakneck speeds. But again, what can you do in it? I think there's so much stuff to worry about now in real life that you have to worry about that it, it i don't know and again maybe that's me i just don't think it banged the same if this would have happened a couple of years ago maybe five years ago maybe but it just didn't permit you know it didn't hit me as hard as it should probably should have because i've got real life stuff going on and i'm sure you have too i'm sure others have why would you be worried about how kanye is dealing with raising his daughters in this complicated world because happens to be married their mother happens to be Kim Kardashian. That's a problem that they have to sort out. We've known that's going to be an issue for ages, right? We knew that would be something to kind of think about, right? Everyone thinks about that, but it's just like he's suddenly realizing it now. Oh my God, like what's going to happen when did it, when she grows up? It's like, I don't know, figure it out. That's, that's what you're here for. That's why you're there as a parent. But wow, man, it's just amazing to see the mind of a guy like that, isn't it? When you're at that level, when you're at that mountain, top of the mountain with all the money in the world, but you can't, you can't get canceled. It's just incredible to see because the cancellation does change the way you operate, the way you maneuver. But when you can't get cancelled, you just end up like Kanye, putting out all your kids' business, telling all your kids' business as well. Imagine how North's going to feel when she's of age to understand what her dad said. Yeesh. But hey, what can you do? What can you do? 